There is a long life than what you shall live here on earth. Remain attached to me. By remaining attached, connect to me, you shall bear much fruits. You shall be successful here on earth. Nobody can stand in your way. The same way they didn't stand in my way. The same way nobody could be, could be able to resist me. In the same way, if you remain in me, you shall have the same power. You shall act in the same authority. And nobody can resist whatever I want to do in your life. But you must remain in me. In other words, you, shall, you must remain in my words. You must remain in my commandment. Praise me the name of Jesus. Verse 6 it says this. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and wither. Such branches are picked up thrown into the fire and burned. If you don't remain in the word of God, if you don't remain in the law of God, if you don't remain in the principles of the kingdom, you are going to wither. You will be unproductive. You will die. To die doesn't mean that to die physically. But there is spiritual death. Which is a disconnection to your maker. There is God in heaven who sent you here on earth with a mission which you must accomplish. There are things which God wants you to accomplish here on earth. Those wishes which you have, the vision which you have, that is the heavenly mission. But you cannot achieve it when you are not attached, you are not connected when you are not living according to the word when you are rebellious to the words of God the Bible says every branches which is disconnected to the vine will wither it means you are not going to produce, produce anything you remain ikabod you become Ichabod meaning without glory you cannot make it it doesn't matter how you will pray you can pray but you disobey the laws of God you can pray but you don't obey the principles of the kingdom you can pray but you don't remain in the word of God in season and out of season we don't obey the principle of the word of God in good season but the word of God we must remain we obey it when things are okay and when things are not okay it means you become special in the kingdom of God you become special when God has a great work to do on earth he will come to you because you have a value yourself. You have made yourself honorable in his eyes. By keeping his law. By keeping his word. People of God. You cannot change your condition. By living in sin. By living in a rebellion. But it's God who can change your situation. It's God who can change your situation by living for him. And the church, we have reached a point where we must go back to our God. We must know what is the mission of church. He did, Jesus didn't send people in great commission. Go out there 
and bring for me members bring for me members bring for me crowds but he sent the disciples and tell them go out there and make the people of all nations to be my disciples I want disciples I want people who walk like me I want people who do things like me I want people who touch nation for me Hello? Hello. That is the mission of church. Praise be the name of Jesus. That is the mission of church. If you don't remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and wither. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible doesn't say B -B if you don't remain in church but if you don't remain in me, Jesus. And Jesus is the word. Hello, what one more? Men's people can be in church. They're just in church. They, they come to church. Lakini wamekauka but they are dry because they're not connected to Christ. So Yesu ni neno. Jesus is the Wako word. Kanisani. And then church. Lakini hawaishi neno la Mungu. But they don't live the word. They kulingana na maagizo ya Mungu. Walk according to the Lakini wako kanisani. But then lakini watu watakuwa kanisani lakini maisha yao imekauka. But then church but their lives are dry. Sio mimi nimesema lakini Yesu ndiyo anasema hivi. The one saying but Jesus is saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's because that's sio kwa sababu there is no anointing. It's not because there is no anointing. But because this person lakini sababu mtu huyu hako kanisani he is in church. Lakini haishi neno la Mungu. But he don't live the word of God. Bana sio. Amen. Haishi neno la Mungu. They don't live according to the word of God. Na anakuwa kanisani lakini maisha yake yamekauka. And they went church but the life is dry. Anahama hii kanisa they shift from this church. They go to another church. Anaenda hiyo nyingine. They go to another church. Anaenda hiyo nyingine. They go to another church. Akitafuta search maisha yake badilike for his life to. Na Yesu anamwambia kwamba and Jesus is saying that usipo baki ndani mwangu. If you don't remain in me. Usipo baki uishi neno langu. If you don't live my word. Umekauka. You will dry. Praise be the name of Jesus. Bwana asifiwe. Maisha yako imekauka. Your life will dry. Usipo baki ndani mwangu. If you don't remain in me. Hakuna kile kitaendelea katika maisha yako. Usipo baki ndani mwangu. If you don't remain in me. Hakuna kile ambacho kitafanikiwa. There is nothing that But verse 7 anasema kitu gani? Msura 7 what does it say? Soma mstari wa 7 Kiswahili. Verse 7 John 15:7. Mkikaa ndani yangu na maneno yangu ya kikaa ndani yenu basi ombeni chochote mtakacho nanyi mtapewa haleluya if you remain in me mkikaa ndani yangu haleluya haleluya inamaanisha unabaki ndani ya wokovu haleluya you remain in salvation unabaki mkristo you remain as a christian na maneno yangu ikibaki ndani mwako and my words remain in you Ask whatever you wish. Ombeni chochote mtakacho. And it will be done for you. Nanyi mtapewa. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Inamaanisha mtu anaweza kuwa ndani ya Kristo. It means someone can be in Christ. Lakini habaki ndani ya maneno ya Kristo. Hallelujah. They're not in the words of Christ. Anaweza kuwa ndani ya Kristo. Can be in Christ. Kwa sababu alimpeaka maisha yake. Because they gave him their lives. Kwa sababu kama ulimpeaka maisha yako. Because if you gave him your life. Ila manisha uko ndani mwake. It means you are in him. Lakini maneno yake haiko ndani mwako. But his words are not in you. Lakini condition kusudi maitaji maumbi yako ijibiliwe. Lakini ili maumbi yako ya jibwe. Ili chochote unataka ndani ya ufalme ukipoke. So that you can receive anything you want in the kingdom. Ili viwango vyote unataka kufika vika milike. So that all the levels want to reach. Ni lazima ubaki ndani ya kristo. You have to remain in Christ. Na maneno yake ibaki nani mwako. And his words remain in you. Na nakwambia omba chochote unataka. And he says, oh, pray for anything you want." Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. 
Nimeomba sana sione chochote. I prayed so much I've not seen. Lakini umeomba ndiyo uko ndani ya Kristo. But yes of prayed and you are in Christ. Lakini maneno ya Kristo hayako ndani mwako. But his words are not in you. Hauishi kulingana na maneno. You're not living according. Hautembei kulingana na maneno ya Kristo. You're not walking according to the word. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Hello. Hello. Mtu ni Mkristo? Someone is a Christian. Aliokokaka. They got saved. Na anakuja kanisani kila Sunday. And they come to church every Sunday. Na anahusika kwa kila mipango yote ya kanisa. And they associate themselves with every, every plan. Na anafanya vitu vyote maybe yanataka anafanya. And they do all they are required to do. Lakini neno ya Mungu haiko ndani mwake. But the word of God is not in them. Kusema neno la Mungu haiko ndani mwako. Saying the word of God is Haimaanishi mtu asikie yake neno. Doesn't, it doesn't mean that they don't hear the word. Lakini mtu anasikia ka neno. But someone hears the Kile word. Kile kinaonesha ya kwamba neno liko ndani mwako. What shows the word is in you? Ni wakati unatenda mambo. Is when you do things. Kwa wakati kama neno iko ndani mwako. Because when the when the word utafanya vitu kulingana na gisi neno inakuamuru vifaa. You will act according to how the word commands you to do. Kama neno nakwambia same mara 7 sabina sabini. sabini. If the word tells you forgive 70 times 7 times hautakuwa na diary ambayo inabeba watu ya toka 20 you won't have 20, 20. you still have people in your heart to carry people in your heart from 20 this i can forgive this one i cannot forgive this one i cannot talk with him this one i cannot greet him or him hello kama neno iko ndani mwako if the word is si ninakwambia tu inakukumbusha ya kwamba It, all, it always reminds you that. Sineno inasema kwamba utasamea mtu mara 7 70 70. It's the one that tells you to forgive 70. Sineno inasema ya kwamba jua istoke. As in the word told you that the sun shall not set. Na ilale. Shall not arise and kabla hujasamea mtu without you forgiving someone. Kuonesha ya kwamba neno liko ndani mwako. So in that the word is in you. Kama mtu alikosea na alikukwaza sana. If someone wronged you and really hurt. Maybe yeye hatambui na hataki kujua. Maybe they don't know and they don't know. Because neno liko ndani mwako. But because the word is Linakuelezea jua isitoke. It tells you that the sun na ilale na hujasamea huyu mtu. Wewe utatafuta huyu mtu. You will search for Wewe utapigia huyu mtu. You will call this. Utamwambia dada yango. And tell them my sister. Unajua saine ulinyikwaza sana. You know and at uliumiza moyo wangu sana hii wakati ulisema hivi when you said this ilinyumiza sana really hurt me mimi kusamee but i forgive you praise be the name of jesus amen because neno iko ndani mwako because the word is inakukumbusha ya kwamba hauwezi kulala it reminds you that you cannot sleep una asira na mtu when you are angry, angry with someone bana sifa amen kwa sababu neno iko ndani mwako because the word is in you wakati mzako anakushuhudia ya kwamba Mungu amenifungulia mlango hii when someone tells you that God has opened this door for me chuki haitainuka ndani ya moyo wako hatred shall not arise jealousy haitainuka ndani ya moyo wako when you see your colleague ako vizuri wakati unaona mtendakazi mwenzako ako is good he look good that doing well hautasikia vibaya you won't feel bad because you know that we even in you bad. have to appreciate him you have to appreciate her praise be the name of Jesus because But neno iko ndani mwako inakwambia usiwe na wivu na mtu usiwe na fitina usiwe na chuki usiwe mchoyo usiwe mdanganyifu usiwe mzushi I mean in season and out of season we must remain faithful to the word of god even in an in evil time even in that evil season it's the word which we obey in that season which will pull us out of that situation it means when you learn to be obedient to the word of god even in in the evil days of your life it's your obedience to the law to the word of god which will take you out of that situation remember joseph Joseph was in evil seasons when he was jailed he didn't sin they lie against him and he was taken to prison but because he remained faithful to his god he remained faithful to his god 
His faithfulness in prisons. He took him out of the prison and he became prime minister. He continued to serve people even in prison. He continued to do good even when he was in prison. He continued to serve people even in his evil days without hope because he was unknown. But he was doing good those days. People come with their issue, with their problem and he helped them. Praise be the name of Jesus. Amen. He remained faithful and his faithfulness by serving a people in his evil days, in his bad days, made him to be known in the palace. When needs came in the palace, and one of the people was helped in the prison, he spoke to the king. He spoke to the king. I know a man in a prison. He can do this. He can do this. And Joseph was called. And he was made a prime minister. Because of what he did in the evil season of his life. People of God. Church of God. God remain God. Either things are okay with you. Either things are bad with you. We must remain faithful to God. We must keep his word. We must remain faithful. We must keep serving him. Even when we are in an evil situation. Because whatever you do today. It will bring your deliverance. And it's what Jesus is saying here. Every branch will disconnect itself to me. It will wither. Hello? Hello? You know, when your life withers, you cannot produce anything. Whatever you touch, it cannot move forward, it cannot progress. Why? Because it's Jesus who can help you. He's the one who delivered you. He's the one who died for you. He's the one who took the curses which was upon your life and he put it on himself and he died for you. It means apart from Jesus you cannot make it in this life. Listen to me church. It doesn't matter how brilliant you are. It doesn't matter how brilliant you are. Apart from Jesus you cannot make it. You cannot make it. You may have people who are connected. You may have people who have means. But they will not help you. Unless Jesus touch their hearts. Unless Jesus touch their hearts. When Jesus touch their heart. They will remember you. When Jesus touch them. They will do things for you. But we have to understand human, you, human being, we are selfish. For somebody to give you something, you have to know God has touched him. And for God to command people to do things in your life, you must, have, you must be in good stands with him. That is what the Bible says. When a man found favor before God, God will command even his enemy to bless him. It means for any blessings to come in your way, God is responsible. Even when you are a place where nobody knows you, you are in the midst of enemies. But when you have 
touch the heart of God. When you live according to his way. When you are obedient to the word of God. When you walk in his way. He will touch even your enemies. To promote your life. He will use your enemies to bless your children. He will use your enemy to protect your, your family or your children. That's why Jesus is the center of our life. We must become his disciples. Hello? Amen. If we want to see God, Forget about these fake miracles. People just come and agree there. You'll say this, you'll come and testify this, this, and this, and this. Somebody will live in sin. Somebody will live in rebellion. And you say there is God there. Nothing like that. Praise be the name of Jesus. The secret for success is Jesus. And Jesus is the word. When you have this understanding that for me to succeed for me to be fruitful I must keep the command of God. You don't need anybody to remind you. You know, to live for God to live a holy life it's not a favor you do for anybody but you position yourself in a way God can use your life the Bible says in a, in, in a great house there's not only the, uh, the vase of gold Yes. But katika nyumba kubwa pana vyombo vya udongo. In a great house there's a vessels of clay. Kuna vyombo vya clay. There's vessels of clay. Kuna vyombo vya silver. There's vessels of silver. Na kuna vyombo vya dhahabu. And there's vessels. Lakini anasema yeyote ambao atajitakasa. And he has to say that whatsoever uh, anajitakasa Bwana atamtumia kama chombo ya heshima God will use them as a honorable vessel It means if you want God to use your life Here on earth on Where you live Where you work You must present yourself as a vessel of honor